In today's episode of The Tenant, I'm in Bangalore. In Bangalore, I'm in Whitefield, the tech hub of the city. Our tenant today is a couple that stayed in the US for many years, but then decided to come to India. Why are they in Bangalore? Why this location? What works for them and what doesn't? Let's meet them. Hi, Nathan. Hey, Vishal. Welcome home. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Please, come, come. So this is your paradise. Yep, this is it. This is home. Hi, Vishal. Swati. Vishal. Hi, Vishal. Nice to meet you. So what is it that brings you over here? To, to Bangalore. To Bangalore. All right. Well, we, were, we used to live in the States for a while and uh, we decided to move back to India uh, in 2011. And uh, it was mainly family reasons. Uh, my folks were in Bombay and we wanted to just get back closer to family. Um, so yeah, so that's when we decided to move back. How's it been after coming to back to India? <laughs> uh, I mean, I think there were some bumps and bruises initially. Um, but I think you give a couple of years and you kind of settle in. Okay. And that is how it has been. I mean, do you think? Yeah, I think it's been a good settling uh, down and you know, being closer to family. Uh, none of us are from Bangalore or have any family here. Uh, but in terms of opportunities, I think Bangalore really uh, made sense for us. How about this place, this project? Why over here? Uh, so we actually heard about windmills even when we were in the US and it was a candidate even at that time. Uh, but we didn't really commit to it because we hadn't seen it, right? Like we, we understood the concept, we had seen pictures, but we had not seen the unit. Um, so we didn't commit it at that time. After we uh, moved to Bangalore, we were renting in Whitefield. And uh, then, you know, a couple of our friends, they told us that, guys, you have to check out windmills. Um, so we went and uh, met T at that time, but all of the simplexes were sold out. Um, but eventually we found a unit, so we moved here. And there are countless reasons of being in windmills. How big is this place? This seems to be a very tastefully done house. Uh, How big is thank it? Thank you. So uh, it's uh, 4,800 square feet and uh, yeah, it spreads over two floors okay. and uh, yeah, this is the house and it has a meaningful open area okay. uh, which is included in that uh, 4,800. Yeah, our main reason to go with total environment is the outdoor. I yeah. mean, they bring the outdoor into your house, especially when we moved into this house during COVID times where you couldn't really step out. And, you know, be out in the open. There were people that we were hearing of who couldn't step down from their building. Here, the outdoor is literally, you know, you can access it. You can breathe fresh air. You have, you can literally be outside without stepping out of your house. So that was a big factor for us yeah. uh, with the total environment property. You said about the part of the outdoor. Yeah. Right. Where is that outdoor? Yeah, let's go. Please, please come. We'll show you the outdoors. Okay. And I mean, I think uh, windmills uh, at the same time, um, Shal, there are there are a lot of things beyond just the unit, right? It's the it's the entire feel of the place, right? Feel of the community. Um, this is the, this is the garden. This is the garden. So um, do you spend lots of time here? We do. Like uh, we spend most amount of our time. If we are home, we spend most of the time here, unless there are meetings, in which case we have to be in the quiet or something. But uh, oftentimes, I take my meetings here. Okay, yeah, so yeah, some yeah. of your Zoom calls and all yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah, they happen yeah. here. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of hosting that happens here with yeah. the kitchen right here. It's very easy to, you know, go in and out and, you know, manage the guests. So, yeah. uh, this is a very prominent and heavily used part of the house. It is. Is maintaining it uh, a challenging task? Uh, no, not really. Well, I mean, I think so. T actually has a pretty good team. Uh, so, T is total environment. So, they, they provide maintenance uh, of the entire community. So they have a gardening team that comes in every week. They take care of the outdoors. Um, so I think it's, uh, it's all right. It's not that crazy. So how much has the social environment changed over here since you first moved in? Um, it's changed dramatically. Uh, earlier, like from Whitefield, we had to uh, go to either Kormangla or Indranagar to get a good meal. Uh, you know, there were very few restaurants around here. 
um, stores, I think, for shopping. Uh, we always had to step out of Whitefield, but now we're pretty self-sufficient. Um, you know, even for my daughter, like if she has to, uh, you know, attend some classes, we are pretty much able to find those uh, within Whitefield. Um, the flea market scene here, uh, the malls, the theatres, everything is here. In fact, like there's five, six theatres. Uh, around uh, you know two three kilometers away uh, so sort of the ample recreation now it's plenty, yeah, 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 there's plenty. plenty so so most of your life can be done in the, within five kilometers yep and i yeah, think given bangalore after covid yeah uh, especially after covid where? and uh, given uh, given bangalore traffic we like it that way yeah <laughs> okay right. so, so this is the 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 your garden area yes yeah. uh, up will be the so grand we got bedrooms. Uh, Two bedrooms downstairs and two bedrooms upstairs. Okay. Uh, that's how the house is uh, divided, and um, you know, uh, different people use the space differently. We converted one of the rooms downstairs to uh, a kids' play area. Okay. Uh, given that Mira, my daughter, was not going to school uh, during COVID, like all schools were uh, closed, mm -hmm. so we tried to make use of the space and convert it to a children's play area, and uh, you know, she got ample space here. Uh, to continue to um, you know explore and uh, um, okay. you know it's become one of our so this was originally a master bedroom right? this was originally huge. a master yes. so yeah so I mean I think um, as I think a point that she uh, she mentioned that every house in TE it would have a different flavor right um, so some people uh, have split this into two rooms some people have made an office here so different folks use it differently um, but if you were to look at the original design this was meant to be the master room no right uh, because it also has a deck and everything attached to it and it has higher ceiling than the upper room so if you were to you know when we go upstairs you will see that this one has a higher ceiling so but we we wanted to make this the children's room because um, you know during daytime one of us would be downstairs at all times so we wanted to make sure that we can keep an eye on her and if she needs us she you know we are here um, so we we deliberately designed it this way and and how how old is your daughter she is 5 for a 5 year old she <laughs> seems to have kept her room very uh, very clean yeah, um, no, every day she has to declutter the room that's that's, that's the rule the, that's the rule that's, that's the rule, that's the rule. So the discipline runs everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> this so that's uh, that's the other kitchen. So this one is the dry kitchen, right, yeah. Swati? Sort of and yeah. uh, you. And you may so this to. is the wet kitchen. This is where like we have our cook who comes in, and you know, uh, all the cooking happens here. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the cleaning happens here when we are actually entertaining. The, so outside is literally you can think of it as like a party and you know hosting, uh, and maybe sometimes when I'm cooking, I'll cook there. Here, most of the pantry most of the cook uh, and you know anything else any cleaning we need done so so basically done. this is the back end that is the front end that's right, <laughs> right. that's that right. basically what it is <laughs> okay let's go upstairs upstairs is which part of the so upstairs is uh, where uh, you know the family basically resides so in, uh, both of our rooms and Mira's room uh, mm -hmm. that's upstairs so we'll we'll go and check out the master room. Okay. So if you uh, if you were to look at these original design, uh, the upstairs room is meant for kids. Okay. Uh, but we've made that to be uh, the master room. So this is the main master bedroom. Okay. Um, as I was saying, that if you look at these original design, this was supposed to be the kids room. Okay. Uh, but we we have geared it up as a master bedroom. Yeah, uh, and our landlord was flexible to actually move some furniture around. In a lot of these properties, what happens is the furniture comes attached. So one of the criteria for us is if we could move the furniture around, it could suit our needs. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that's that's the reason we went with this house. Yeah. So tell me, so this apartment came what semi furnished or un to a large extent unfurnished only? Well, I mean, I think I I get a little confused about the semi furnished and unfurnished to be candid. Uh, I think uh, a lot of furniture was there. Okay. Right, so like this office desk was there, and uh, you know, there are, there was a bunch of other furniture that was yeah, already there. Like the bed is attached. Yeah, this uh, bed was attached. It came with the unit. Yeah, so there's some movable furniture which we brought in because that was our furniture. But uh, like all the beds are, you know, what come with the house, and including the mattress, 
Okay. Um, you know, there's one couch oh. also. There's you know, yeah. good good amount of furniture that comes yeah. to the house. But it varies by landlord. Like right, there right. are some landlords that actually provide a lot of furniture. There are others who don't. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, I, uh, you know, I yeah, think one of the it. key features of this house, really, given that it was a kid's room, is a, a fish aquarium, tank. A built-in aquarium. So it's a right built-in here. aquarium. Oh. And uh, yeah, so our daughter has a good time playing with the fish here. Yeah. <laughs> and, and this has a pretty good view. Look yeah, and I think that is uh, that is a. I don't know whether it's a tea thing or a windmills thing, uh, but um, in in windmills, all of the units they have um, like big, huge windows, a lot of natural light that comes in. Yeah. So I can see some degree of open space and amenities. Right. Uh, what are the amenities you guys use in this uh, home of yours? Do you all um, use the gym, the pool? Oh yeah. Is uh, so you know the clubhouse is uh, it's got uh, all of the, um, yeah, the the clubhouse has a lot of amenities uh, right from the gym it's got all of the you know bodybuilding equipment to uh, you know the uh, treadmills uh, it's got all of those but it's also got like squash courts we primarily use um, the indoor pool. Uh, given that Bangalore, uh, more than half of the year it's raining uh, and you know it gets pretty cold outside. We use the indoor pool a lot, especially my daughter. Um, and then uh, you know there's open area, so there are a lot of classes uh, that can happen. Like my daughter can take her soccer class right here. I can watch her while taking my meeting from the deck. Um, so, so basically keep the laptop here, do, yes. your, do your work and just peep down. Yeah, the there you go. There you go. That's how it is? Yeah, yeah no, that, so when she was younger, right, he's young, but when she was even tinier, um, and she was learning how to ride a cycle, we could, we could see that, all right, whether she is wobbling or whether she can do it properly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think uh, a lot of amenities, right, I think the clubhouse has come together really well. Um, there, is a, there is a fully functional cafe with a live kitchen. Um, there is, you know, there is a kids library which is actually not very commonly seen. Um, so, and it is maintained by volunteer kids in the community. So, the kids will donate their books. They will maintain the library. They will ensure that there is a catalog maintained. So, it all works. Uh, you, you, uh, you, you mentioned there's a restaurant as well. Yeah. So, the cafe is operated by Craftworks. Um, so, you, you use that. We do. So if I have meetings in Whitefield, I will usually have it in the cafe. Yeah. Yeah. And weekends you like, you know, especially when you don't want to be driving out uh, and because of the traffic, having a cafe is really convenient because oh, incredible. if you don't want to eat at home, you can just step down Sundays, uh, you know, you just hang yeah. out with friends and, you know, my daughter can take classes in the multipurpose hall while we can, you know, be waiting and having a cup of coffee in the cafe. Yeah. I'll take you to the family area. Okay. Please come. This is the this is the family area uh, where you know we we have a family visiting. Um, if we have a family visiting, we spend most of the time here. Okay. Uh, like we can we play cards here, or if we want to watch TV, that's what we do. Because as I was saying, that we haven't put TV in any other room, so this is a place. Um, and so yeah, we, we spend a reasonable amount of time here as well. If you're not downstairs and we are together, we are here then. But yeah, so I mean, I think this is the family area and this is the other deck. Um, so there are two decks, there's downstairs and upstairs. Um, and we are, we are sort of bringing it together. Um, but yeah. Between the two decks, but this one gets occupied lesser currently. This one gets yeah. occupied lesser. Downstairs uh, is what we downstairs use. Downstairs is what we use yeah. most. And as she said, that we also host people uh, outside. I mean, Bangalore weather is such that you really want to make the most of it. Um, so, unless it's raining or it's really warm, we're usually outside. So, tell me, what's the... You, you guys have said many good things. Right. I, okay. All good things. Right. Okay. About this uh, area, this property, the amenities. What's the weakness? What's not good? I would say um, accessibility. Uh, accessibility is not that great. And what I mean by accessibility is that... If you've got a senior citizen with wheelchairs, it's it is a little harder to manage. Um, if you you know, and in the same vein, you've got a toddler with you know in a stroller or you know like a baby in a stroller, 
it gets a little harder. Now, the community has come up with different ways, like there are ramps to get uh, get to the walking areas and what have you. But I think uh, accessibility would be a weakness that I would call out. There is one more room, that's the den. Okay, uh, that's your den. Well, sort of, you can do it. Uh, yeah, so I, I work from there, that's my office. Uh, but it's a den, um, not just because it's completely away from the house, mm -hmm. but it's also um, because you don't have a lot of access to what's going on outside. Yeah, it's so. uh, it's got very less sunlight. So, you know, if there's no disturbance in the house, Nitin likes to come downstairs and work from downstairs because it's brighter. Usually when it gets warm, uh, I mean, since there is no fan, I'd have to turn on the AC and I don't do that. So then I just go outside. Um, so unless I have meetings, I then I work from outside. Uh, meetings, I prefer to you know, take from here. Um, and because, because of the complete silence. No it's disturbance. complete silence. It's completely secluded from the house. Uh, and in fact, again, um, you know, the TE design was actually very well thought of when it comes to the new play because this was meant to be the office. Different folks have made it different. Uh, some have made this to be their home theater. Um, some have made this and they've expanded it to make it the fourth bedroom or what have you. Uh, but the original design meant to have this as a separate entrance to the house. Um, so, you know, if I was to have official visitors, they don't need to come from the house. They can come from here, they can meet me, and this then they can leave. floor yeah. Uh, access, yeah. Yeah. So, so basically, if I understand right, uh, you guys work, uh, one, from downstairs uh, at the balcony. Yes. Then you use the upstairs place also a bit. A bit. And this, so this third, and of course, then the cafe as well. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I think most usage is outside the outdoor deck, hmm. right? And uh, the open kitchen, which is where, you know, if... If she's also working, I'm downstairs, our daughter is downstairs, I'll sit, uh, I'll sit on the uh, kitchen counter and I'll be reading something. Um, but when we are working, at that time she's in her office, I'm in my office or cafe. Yeah. yeah. So, within Swati, for this sort of space, hmm. uh, how much are you guys uh, uh, paying your landlord who's obviously will be pretty happy with the uh, type of money he's making? <laughs> So uh, we uh, we are paying around 2.5, okay. um, but it varies in windmills. I think uh, because it depends on landlord to landlord. It depends on the tenant. It depends on the furniture that is being provided. It depends on the specifications because each apartment has different specifications. Um, so it varies based on that. Okay, and so. this is. Uh, with a handsome deposit because I hear Bangalore deposits are completely out of control. Yeah, I mean, I think there is a there is a standard norm in Bangalore, but I think again it varies from landlord and tenant, right? Like I think I have basically heard from three months mm -hmm. all the way to twelve months deposit. Yeah, no, we're think, somewhere in the middle. Yeah, we're somewhere in the middle. We are uh, we are somewhere actually very close to the middle. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah, and as I said, that it depends on the landlord, right? Um, they they met uh, they met us and they said that yeah, okay, you don't have to give ten months, and you're okay with it. Did That's where we started, ten months. Did, did you have to go through the process uh, of giving your uh, LinkedIn profile, your bank no. statement? <laughs> Luckily, no. Statements? Luckily, no. We didn't have to go through any of that. Okay. Uh, it was uh, it was mainly a conversation, and that was that. Okay. What next for you guys? How long are you planning to be on rent? Will you be here? Uh, is buying a home on the horizon sometime? Yes, no, we uh, we have bought a house in Windmills. Okay. Uh, it's actually the next door house. Um, the so same size? Same size. Uh, it's it's nearly a mirror uh, mirror image of this house. Um, so yeah, so I mean, I think we are uh, we are planning to move there sometime soon. I think there are tenants there. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think timeline hasn't been decided yet. Uh, but yeah, we'll we'll move in sometime. Okay. In the so next year or so. Yeah. Okay. On that note, uh, Nitin Swati, thank you for coming on the thank channel. Thank you so much. Right. Thank tastefully you. done house, nice. and thank you guys are you. clearly living king size. Oh, thank you. And when are you moving here? After seeing all these apartments, I'm truly tempted. <laughs> yeah. There you go. You should come. Time for the report card. This is a spacious apartment, 4,800 square feet carpet area building amongst the premium projects of this location. Uh, Location-wise, this is this is Whitefield, uh, a hub uh, dominated with tech parks. 
uh, over the last decade, uh, social infra has emerged in a strong way from schools, hospitals, malls. Connectivity, connectivity by road to central Bangalore and airport far away. Metro has provided some degree of relief uh, to this location. So all in all, if you're a person that works in Whitefield, uh, wants a premium residence, wants large spaces, uh, is willing to pay a good degree of premium for it, this is sort of project and location that can be considered. Thank you.